Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day. It is another beautiful day out here in Arizona. It's actually been a beautiful year so far. Um, we are the week before Memorial Day, and I think we've only had two 100-degree days. Um, it's, we're in a cool-down trend. I think the high today is like 75, 78, which is awesome. It's like 62 out right now. Uh, this late in the year, which is really nice. I mean, they had snow in Flagstaff last night, but that is not why you're here. You are here because I am installing a hillbilly parking brake on the Honda Pioneer. Now, this is a very special hillbilly brake, and it's probably the only one like it out there. And yes, they're all the same, except for mine got lost, and uh, the United States Postal Service sent it to Guam. And it got lost and stuck in Guam for a few days, and it was stuck in Hawaii for a few days. So I probably have the only hillbilly break that has gone halfway around the world and back. Uh, I immediately recognized it when I did the UPS tracking, because I used to live in Guam when I was in the military. It was my first duty station. So let's go ahead, let's get started with this install. It looks pretty easy, but my install is gonna have one extra step than yours will if you go ahead and do this. And that's because I already have the barbecue lever uh, bolted onto mine. So let's look at that real quick. So this is what I've been using. And as I've said, I replaced this once and it's the barbecue lever. You just push down the brake and right there. Now, this has been really good um, just for hill holding and whatnot. And if you load it on a trailer, the problem is you can forget to release this. And the Pioneer has enough torque, as I've said before, and it will just drive uh, with this on, not realizing it. And there are a couple different variations. Some people have them where they go side to side. I was not fortunate enough to buy that one. I got this one, you know, it's 10 or $15. Um, so there we go. Easy operation with one hand, but it is a pain in the butt to install. So what are we gonna replace it with? So here is the hillbilly brake. This is what we replace everything with. Um, it is a nice metal uh, bracket, spring-loaded. So when you, you can actually push the brake down with your left foot, push this over with your right foot. And as you can see, there is a lip right there that will catch the top of the brake pedal. The other nice thing is it has these holes here that will line up and you can throw a lock in there and then to bolt it in, it is just a five millimeter hex head with a half inch or 13 millimeter um, nut and a fender washer. So I've said in the past, I really like supporting small business, um, especially local small business. Now this I believe is out of Ohio and I did have some issues with mailing and let me tell you what, it is first rate customer service old school customer service. Um, after five or six days, I emailed the owner of the company and said, hey, can you help me with tracking? Uh, Postal service won't really deal with me because I'm not the sender. And within a few hours, I had a response email. Uh, the gentleman called, emailed back and forth, and he continually sent me updates until we got it here in Arizona. It took a little bit longer than expected, but not a big deal. The other thing I really like is look at these instructions. So these are probably some of the best instructions I have seen um, for a small business install. And what do I mean by that? Well, I have lots of small business stuff on here, but even some of the big business, I mean, these instructions are better than some of the Honda's instructions. And this is probably one of the simplest things to install. I mean, it's really, just two bolts, you're not drilling into holes, nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my barbecue lever removed, then we'll go ahead and get that installed. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead, I removed my barbecue brake. Let me show you what it looks like. And now, as you can see, my barbecue brake has been removed. Okay, so the hillbilly brake should be pretty simple to install. Um, if you see over here, this is where the bolts are gonna go. Um, and then you'll, so you'll slide the bolt through, put the hillbilly brake on, fender washer, and then nut. You only need two tools for this. So let's go ahead 
Let's see if I can get this on here. Well, that's it. I got everything tightened up. Let me tell you what, it is tight. So this whole install is maybe 10 minutes. Uh, depends on how big your hands are to get in here. I torqued down these pretty good. Um, in the future, I may take them off, put a little bit of blue Loctite, but I really don't think that's gonna be needed. So let me get in here and let me show you how this operates. Now, if you remember my barbecue lever, I could just push down with one hand. This you can't. You really gotta push down on it, basically with your foot. Push down, I can just pop it up and release it. Boom. I can push down here. There you go. And the beauty is, got your wall. So there you have it. This is probably one of my must-have mods. I mean, it goes right along with my skid plate and the winch. This thing is perfect for everything I do. Is it gonna keep someone from stealing my Pioneer? Absolutely not. But is it gonna help deter theft? Absolutely. So in my application of writing, you know, I go to the grocery store, I go to the kids' schools, I go all over. But when I'm out of sight of the Pioneer, I do get concerned sometimes because someone can just pop it in neutral and push it away. Now we go up to the restaurants all the time, we like to eat outside, I can always see the Pioneer and I can't leave it for more than 10 minutes without somebody looking at it because they're not common. They're not the Rangers, they're not the X3s, they're not any of that. So this is a great application for that. I've been looking since day one since I bought my Pioneer on how to lock this in park or some type of a parking brake. Now the barbecue lever did great, but this is way more stout and it's gonna be way harder to defeat. But if you have deer camp or you put this thing in storage, this is for you. It's just one added layer of security. It takes 10 minutes to install. It's $72 with free shipping at the time of this video. So look into it. So for those of you wondering, I'm gonna show you the mileage. Um, I do get questions sometimes on how many miles. Now I know there's people out there with three and four and five times as many miles as I have, and that's great. It just shows you how long these pioneers can go. Heck, I just saw on the forums a guy that has a brand new Talon. He's got over a thousand miles on it. He only lives an hour and a half, two hours north of me. So my mileage, real quick, is 1628. So not too bad. Probably have 2,000 miles by the end of the summer. And the other thing I want to show everyone is I went ahead and I finally painted this. So I would recommend if you're going to do a color, go ahead, put it into your Pioneer, you know, use the barbecue uh, propane bottle method, get it all set up the way you want, get the bolts that you want, or if you're going to use the, the stock ones, that's fine, and have it powder coated before you glue this neoprene, neoprene rubber piece on. Unfortunately, mine was already glued on. So I just went down to the local home improvement store and I got some of this. I think it matches pretty good, but I can see that it's getting nicked up as I shift it. Uh, not a big deal, I can just spray it again. It's a nice uh, enamel and it really makes the letters pop. The big deal is I'm not getting blinded. So don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time.